And did you say so you made the gig in Galway? Yeah. I'm just going to tuck myself in a bit more. Come. There's a brown smear on the tablecloth. What? Do you think somebody's had a dirty protest already? <laughs> I can't sort this table out. No, I made it in Galway, and that um, was quite nice. Who are you on with? Michael Downey, who you might walk yeah, on to. Uh, yeah, he was smoking yeah, on yes, his way in. Yes, yes, yes. Well, he was, he was amazing, because the first night in Dublin, when he was on, he walked onto this music and he was smoking, and they were whooping as really? he came and go, woo! I try like, and do rock that. Rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to. I, think, I, can't, I can't remember what <laughs> I walked you? onto. Hey, I think they just thought, your eye before you even open your mouth. I know you're English, and a little bit on the middle class side. Were they good gigs? They were all right. Right. Okay. Saturday was great last night. It, got, it gets a bit leery on Friday because you get all the English people coming over That's for long weekends. Yeah. yeah, and like at yeah. half past six being fanned the sick off their mouth in the street. <laughs> and you go, this, this city has more to offer than just... Yeah. I, it, it is but the worst side of English, English people. Yeah, it's amazing. Offer. What, Galway? No, no, not Gal Dublin. Dublin, well... No, Galway has nothing to offer. I've been Dublin... The week before, because I've done the alcohol. It look, uh, you know, it's one of those awful things where you look out and think, God, I wish I was on a box office split. You did the, 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 the vagina monologue. Say the words. See, because we're about to eat. He blushes, you say the words. Vagina monologue. The special area monologue. Yes. And Caprice came into our dressing room. Oh, yeah. She's not real. Oh, I've heard that she's not great from three foot away. Oh, no, that's not true. Really? She is great. She's absolutely, obviously not human. Yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't have skin like that if you're human. Right. She's like airbrushed with plastic, this honey-coloured plastic. So beautiful, it's just silly. Right. You know, you just think, oh, there's actually no need to be that beautiful because there's no men in the world <laughs> that are actually good-looking enough for you what, to merit being that. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's actually put on earth to make women sick. My kangaroo is quite filling. That's yeah. chicken. Quite, but do you want a bit of chicken? No, I don't. I've actually got more food than I can handle on my plate. I think, this, the, I think this there's an onion sauce. in the middle of it. Do you want some mushy beef? No, I've, oh, no. Oh, I'll give me wind. I'll just eat my meat. Yeah. And that'll be it. I'll put my fingers down my throat later. <laughs> That's a... lovely. That's very funny, really, isn't it? Because it's so undignified. It is I mean, there's uh, the, the thing with the Queen Mother's funeral. But there was no, there was no real massive cock-up, was there? No, that's what you were waiting for. That's why you Definitely. were watching. Yeah. And that's funeral. last time I spoke to yeah, you. You were shouting at the television. Because you thought I had a cold. Because my voice was hoarse. Instead, I was alone in my room, screaming at the TV. <laughs> You know, the kind of the classic double standard is that, you know, there's like 60% of people that can be asked to vote yeah. in this country, and yet people will queue for 12 hours to see what I think is a racist in a box with a £4 million pound overdraft. £7 million. Pound is it seven? Don't oh. underestimate the woman. <laughs> oh. This is why sure, I She needed her. medication just to keep her going at the end, and that doesn't yeah. come cheap. Yeah, there was somebody on television saying she had... Um, the great thing about her is, um, amongst all the royals, she had the most... Um, what did they say? Common sense. <laughs> and uh, someone says, uh, common sense. She was £7 million pounds yeah. overdrawn. Yeah. That's not common sense. That's Mario. Surely at £6.5 million, you go, to be honest, I can't afford that. I can't afford that. Uh, uh, I'm going to make some birthday cards this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe so. Do you so. remember the Silver Jubilee at all? That was when I was born. 77. Silver Jubilee. I got a Silver Jubilee Bible. I've just I've fallen into a fog of depression. I was 17. I remember what I wore. I had a curly perm and I put a garland of daisies and flowers in my hair. Oh, right. God, I was hot. And the pubs were open all day. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm, mm. Oh, this is fantastic. It was just mass snogging on the Why? streets of Lytham St. Towns. It, it was a carnival day. It was a hot day. It was, it was fabulous. And it was just those of us running around the streets kissing boys and. Right. Am I thinking about something else? Yes. <laughs> is this? Or am I just thinking about my birthday? This is not manumission, so. <laughs> now my ears are gone totally bunged up. So is that gone? Oh, have I been really shouting? No. Well, you, you, 